I'm Don, welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Red Grass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modular Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundamstore.com. Links down below. Today we paint skin, Nurgle skin. This is sort of an experiment since we're going to use retarder medium and glaze medium. Usually, I just use glaze medium. We start with heavy shena. Long-time subscribers know that I don't like painting over black primer, so I always start with heavy shena or at least with, with extra opaque paints so that it makes my painting of the base color a much, much easier. Now we paint Cavalry Brown, it's the perfect color over Heavy Shanna, especially for skin painting. Now we're using the Cavalry Brown to sketch where the base colors would be or the highlights would be. It's the perfect base color for our base color. At this point, we're still not using the Retarder Medium, we're basically just creating volume with these two paints. As you can see, it's nice, you, you know where the highlight should be later. Now we use the retarder medium. I've used this a few times on other projects but not on an actual miniature. Actual miniature meaning standard size miniature like this one. I'm not sure if I should have done this when I, we were painting the cavalry brown but basically we're repeating the cavalry brown here with the retarder medium. Note that we're not painting over the crevices and uh, heavy shena earlier. We're just repeating what we did with the cavalry brown. Now we paint old rose. This is now our base color. So even though we're using retarder medium, I mix old rose with cavalry brown to create like an intermediate color in between the previous color and the old rose. So this creates a more subtle shading even though again we're using retarder medium and we're kind of wet blending the whole thing. Make sure not to like press too hard, just feather the paint and then blend both paints or all of the paints nicely. Feathering is key here or light brushing. You don't want to scrape off the paint, the previous paint because re the retarder medium did not let the paint dry. So make sure you feather lightly and blend the colors in, in light strokes. Now we have nice skin. Now we push this further with more highlights and use light flesh. Again, mixing old rose with light flesh to create an intermediate color and adding retarder medium to keep it wet while we're painting. Now it's the same, it's feathering and blending lightly with light strokes with light paint strokes. Don't like press too hard and just enjoy the process. Now we paint skin highlights with light flesh. This still has retarder medium, so blend lightly and just blend the color softly and you'll create really nice transitions. Now we use dark rust wash. You could use flesh wash or other red washes. Like there's also a game flesh wash, which is really good too, but I just want to use a different wash. Now let's soften the transition of our light flesh highlights with glaze medium plus light flesh. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you have to dry before you apply the wash. You have to dry the paints. Use a hair dryer to speed up the process and then apply the wash. Watch until the end of the video because as usual, we have tip time. The glaze medium, same with the matte medium and other mediums are awesome paints or awesome auxiliary paints they're not paints anyways mediums are awesome why do i love mediums well mediums will not make the paints watery because if you just add water and create a wash consistency or glaze consistency it's not really glaze consistency it's wash consistency so it, the paint will become too watery and it will tend to run around crevices and such so it's not great at least for me for filtering and blending but with the use of glaze medium the paint or other mediums for that matter matte medium and stuff the paint 
ha- and the medium has the same consistency and it won't run around the, the, the model. So it's basically you're glazing, layering really thin or transparent paints but they're not really thin. So back to the model. Basically, we're using inks, my fav um, game inks. Washes are nice, but inks stain better. So as you can see, the guts is really looking really red because of the game ink red and a bit of purple for the shadows. So it's for hasty painters like me who want instant, really fast results. I highly recommend the inks. The violet ink is perfect for shadows and as you can see, we're applying it on the guts. Now we use Nocturna paints. I'm using Chalice Red which is an awesome purple red color. It's the perfect for shadows actually. As you can see, I applied like I mix so many so much water so that it will become like a wash consistency and applied it around crevices and again the guts. Now we apply extreme highlights with white flesh. There's also a Nocturna highlight skin which is also awesome. You could use ivory or white gray if you don't have these paints. It will yield somehow the same results. The name of this paint is too long so basically it's the same color as any pus. So we're painting around the pimple areas. And then we also mix this with highlight skin as i stated earlier and then create a lighter color so that we have highlights of the pimples now we use wern red this is another awesome pink color from the nocturna set it's perfect for the guts also perfect for tongue painting and some worn out red clothing now we mix highlight skin with wern red so that we have a highlight color for the guts Again, we're using black green ink for like shadows or like the skin around the pimples. Usually people use red or pink, but I like green. Also, we're going to use game ink red for the guts again. I really love the guts part. Now to finish off the model, we're using fresh blood game effects. This will make our model more Nurgle worthy. Now it's tip time. So basically, do I recommend using retarder medium? If you don't have an airbrush, yes, because the retarder medium will keep the paints wet and it's going to be easier to blend all the paints. Just make sure you feather or blend lightly and you'll come up with really awesome results. But if you have an airbrush, the glaze medium is more than enough because you could mix it with paint and use it with the airbrush. Also, you could like use it to bring up or layer some more highlights and stuff and blend some interesting effects. So if you have an airbrush, the glaze medium is the way to go. If, if you don't have an airbrush and like brush painting your miniatures or busts, you really need the retarder medium. It will make the painting much more like enjoyable that's it we're done i hope you like the video do like comment subscribe and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our discord community saludos Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel.